guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have done this sunset inspired eye makeup look. I don't know what to call it but I am seriously so obsessed with how it turned out. I haven't done much colour on my channel so I thought I would branch out and film this look for you guys. So if you guys would like to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. So, for primer, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional just around my nose, as always, because I have heaps of textured skin around there, and it just really helps to smooth it out. So, I'm just going to pop that pretty much just down the center of my face, and it also helps to keep the face matte throughout the day. And then to prime the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Dermalogica Hydra Blur Primer. I've had this for ages, and I've really like hardly used it so I'm going to just place that on the rest of my face it's kind of got the same sort of texture as professional but it's not as thick I've remembered to do my brows first I'm just taking my Anastasia dip brow which is what I use for my brows all the time now just on my pony cosmetics brush need a mirror um, and just filling in my brows. I need to get them threaded ASAP. So I like to start on the tails and then work my way to the start. Then I'm just taking a concealer brush with some concealer. I'm just using the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour. I'm going to try that underneath my eyes today because I haven't tried it yet. It's been sitting in my drawers for like weeks now. And I'm just going to use that to define the brows and then the top. The reason why I do my brows first is because if I do my foundation and then set it with powder, I'm going to be putting like liquid, which is like the concealer, over the top of the powder. It doesn't really sit nicely on the face. So I just like to get brows out of the way and then just blending the concealer out so then what I like to do to prep the face is just going with a setting spray I'm just using the Gerard one for foundation today I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way and I finally got like a shade that matches my fake tan completely sand is good but I find that it has like grey sort of undertones so I decided to get warm beige and I'm just going to buff that in with my Morphe M439 brush yeah this colour is way better than sand what I'm doing is just pressing that into the skin I could have probably gotten away with like a shade darker, but I'll just bronze up my face. Actually also got a darker shade of the Stila Stay All Day, which is like one of my favorite foundations at the moment. So I got the shade 9. So what I'm going to do is just put three dots of that. So hopefully my face kind of goes a little bit darker. Then for under eye concealer, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer. I'm scared that this is going to be a little bit too light, but it's in the shade Light Neutral. It's like only... Yeah, that's pretty light. That's alright though. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge to blend it out. I haven't used a sponge in ages. It's so big compared to the Beauty Blender. Holy shit. Oh wow, this concealer is actually really nice. I'm just going to pop some down at the center, down at the bridge, cupid bow and chin. I'm just grabbing some of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and using that to bake. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm just taking my Astralis, fresh and flawless. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys up so you guys can see the eye makeup a little bit clearer. I'm just going to blend out that concealer on my eyelids again. 
So I'm also just going to set my eyelids with some translucent powder. I'm actually so excited to use colour today because I haven't used colour on my channel in ages. And when I got this Smashbox, how cool is that by the way? Smashbox mini eyeshadow palette with these colours, I was like, yep done dead i'm definitely using some of these shades i actually saw a photo on facebook and it was like a sunset sort of inspired eye so i want to use like yellows and oranges and reds i think um just for something different because i've never done anything like it on my channel before so the first shade i'm going to pick up is the orange and i'm just going to use that in my crease These eyeshadows are really, really easy to blend. Wow. I'm just mainly focusing that pretty much in my crease and upper crease area. So I'm going to do like a mini sort of cut crease kind of look. Okay, other side. Okay, so now that we have the base colour, I'm going to go in with the red, which is right next to it, which is just a little bit deeper, and just basically go in the same area that we went in just before, but I'm just really wanting to intensify the crease. Holy shit. These eyeshadows are actually bomb. Taking some more red on this side and really just focusing that in the crease. So now for the fun part, I'm just going to take some more of that concealer with a concealer brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to cut the crease. I think I'm only going to do half of a cut. So I kind of look weird when I like cut the whole crease so, so if you've never done this kind of method before all you have to do is just look straight into your mirror find your crease and just cut it just above because the whole point of cut creases is to kind of like make your lid space look bigger so you don't want to cut it directly underneath I like to go a little bit above so as you can see my crease is there and then you just color in Just like that. And then I'm just going to use this brush to kind of like blend out the concealer. So it's kind of like not just like a sharp end. Okay, then I'm just going to blend. I'm just going to take like a bone or a white eyeshadow and just use that to set the concealer. So now that that part's done, I'm going to go in with the red again and I'm really going to like pack the product on my brush and just really concentrate that on the outer corners of the eyes. Now I'm going to spray my brush with some setting spray first. Oop. So I really want this yellow to pop. And I'm going to pop the yellow on my lid. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I'm just packing that all over the lid. So now I'm going to get a bit fancy and take the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Liner. This is the silver one and I'm just going to kind of like go over that cut crease. Ooh. I'm just going to do a wing and I'm just using the Anastasia gel liner. I 
I literally just like didn't even breathe while I was doing that. Okay, the wings are finally on. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Add some mascara. I'm taking the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. For lashes, I'm going to take the Lash Warrior Lashes in this style, Carl Anya. Kalanya. I don't know how to pronounce it, but these are the style lashes. So now I'm going to go on to the lower lash line. I'm going to take the orange shade again and just use that underneath. Literally like living for this look right now. I'm just taking a bit of brown and using that in my... Lower lash line, so I feel like I need some sort of darker colour to give my eyes a bit of definition. So for inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the new Anastasia palette. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'm not even going to bother. That's so bad. I'm going to take Daydream, which is like a corally highlight. Holy fuck, it looks amazing. And place it dead holy shit this is amazing the formula of these highlighters are not like her other glow kits i find like her other glow kits are a bit like glittery and not buttery these though holy shit amazing gonna zoom you guys out a little bit okay i'm really hating how white my face looks right now so i'm gonna bronze it the fuck up with the Sweethearts Bronzer by Too Faced. It's like my favourite. And go to town pretty much. This bronzer is freaking amazing. Love it. Then I'm just going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to take the middle shade. And just use that to, whoops, sculpt out my cheeks. And my jawline. Okay, I'm going to take this powder. Oh, and by this powder, I mean the Faces Australia one. I'm going to use an old favourite blush. This is the Illamasqua Lover. It's so pretty. It's like a corally colour. Pop it on my cheeks. So pretty. Okay, I'm so excited for highlighter. For highlighter, I'm going to use this palette again. It's so amazing. I'm going to use Glow Getter, which is just the kind of goldy sort of highlight. I'm dead. Like what? And I'm not even like putting that much on the brush. Like that is giving me life right now. Keep it so. Down here. I literally can't deal with this glow. Like. Bye. I'm going to just take this bake off now. I have no idea what to wear on my lips. I have so many new lip colours that I've recently got, but I just have no idea what to use. Do I use a nude? Do I use an orange? Do I use a red? Do I use a yellow? Nah. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to go and go through my drawers. Pick a lip colour and I'll BRB. Okay, for lips, I've decided to go with the NYX Matte Soft Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. Stockholm? Stockholm. Whatevs, I'm going to line my lips first with Saw by MAC. Then 
then going in with the NYX. These are their minis that I got in the um, advent calendar. Holy shit, this is a pretty pink. I feel like my lips need to be glossy for this look, so I'm going to take the Too Faced Extreme Lip Injection. <sighs> this is going to burn. Oh my god, it's burning. I'm such a pussy. And then last but not least, setting my face. I'm seriously so obsessed with how this turned out. I just never would have thought that I would suit colors. That's why I never really play around with color on my channel because I feel like I just suit like the natural, like warm tone browns and golds and all that. But if you guys want to see more colored tutorials like this, then please let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.